Well, first of all, thank you guys for being on. Appreciate it, as always. Um, you know, I just thought, you know, gutty, pretty, you know, win today for us uh, against a program like Purdue. I have a ton of respect. Matt Painter has done as good a job as anybody building a great program. I knew, you know, they got inside guys. They got guys who can really shoot it. You know, they're, they're a very difficult team to prepare for in a couple days. And, you know, we've been a little banged up physically. But I thought our guys came and, and played with great energy, um, you know, made plays down the stretch. I thought our defense at times was very good. Um, you know, got through a couple days here uh, uh, with, with a lot of injuries and, and um, thought we really, we really earned that win tonight uh, against a really, really good Purdue team. Thanks, Coach. We'll start off with questions from Jerry and then Bobby. Steve, what, what do you think of the way your team responded uh, to Ron not being there? He's a big piece that's missing. And can you just tell take us through what happened to him and how he's doing? I mean, he just, you know, hurt his ankle. And, uh, yeah, obviously we need everybody. You know, we miss him. We miss Cliff. Uh, we miss uh, Caleb. Um, you know, any guy that's injured, especially in this league, um, you need everybody. But... I thought our team, you know, responded the way we're supposed to respond. You know, guys were the next guy was ready to play. You know, tip of the hat, Dean Reber hasn't played a lot of minutes. He came in and gave us great minutes. Oscar came in and made some plays. You know, Duke came off the bench and had to wrestle with two of the biggest players in the conference. Um, you know, and then everybody else stepped up. You know, Gio looked like Gio. Um, you know, Montez was spectacular. You know, had just a terrific night. Um, Jacob coming off a bad injury, you know, plays 35 minutes. I can't take him out, and he has to guard Eric Hunter, who's one of the, you know, best point guards in the league, and chase him around all night. So, you know, it's a good team win tonight with, you know, good toughness. And um, now we got to get these other guys back and healthy and, um, you know, uh, get ready for this next stretch here coming up. Steve, can you just talk about uh, the team's three-point shooting? You made seven of your first nine. It seems like there was a time not too long ago when it was struggles from deep, but now you guys are just seem to be hitting it so, uh, so often. Can you just talk mm -hmm. about that improvement? I mean, we've improved a lot, and, you know, credit to our guys. They've, they've been in the gym. You know, it's nice having Gio back, another guy that can, you know, shoot the ball from deep. But, you know, Jacob Young's been in the gym. Paul's been in the gym. Montez has been in the gym. You know, Dean can shoot the ball too, so I'm looking forward to him adding to that. Oscar is a really good shooter. Um, you know, we I thought we got really good looks. I thought um, our guys were in range and in rhythm. I thought our guys did a good job of finding the open man. The way they defend, they kind of crowd the lane, so they, they give you those opportunities. Um, and, and we took advantage of it, um, and, and they went in. So it's always a good it's always a good day when they're going in. <laughs> We'll go to Brian Fonseca and then Richie. Uh, yeah, Steve, looked like Gio looked the most comfortable since coming back from the injury and you know, the 19 points, his best game of the season. Just how did he play and how important was it for him to play like that given you guys were really shorthanded? Well, I mean, you know, he's a good player, so um, need him to play like that. He's a vocal leader, too, for us. I thought his defense was really good, too. He had to guard some tough guys, you know. Um, you know, they got shooters, they got penetrators, they got a lot of different weapons that they can kind of attack you with. Uh, but, you know, Gio looked like Gio, and, you know, that ankle sprain was not, you know, was a bad ankle sprain. And he's been getting closer and closer, and I think you saw that tonight. We needed everything. I mean, I couldn't take him out of the game, really. Um, so um, excited to have him, you know, play like that. But, you know, start to expect him to play like that. He's a good player. Hey, Steve, can you talk a little bit more about Paul Mulcahy's game? I know he only had 11 points, but he shot three of five from three. And uh, going into last season, I guess Mulcahy wasn't the best uh, outside shooter. Paul's great. I mean, Paul does a lot of things for us. You know, 11 points is awesome, but he handles the ball. He's a leader. He's tough. I mean, I can't take him out of the game. He's banged up, too. Uh, I mean, Paul, um, you know, has to guard bigger guys sometimes. He has to guard guards. I mean, you know, I never get caught up in, in w what the numbers say because I watch the film all the time and I see all the things that he does to help us win basketball games. And, you know, he played great today. He really did. And, and you know, we needed every one of his points. We'll 
I'll go to Matt Sugam, then Mike Ashmore. Yeah, Steve, I actually got two questions. The first one is just with the foul shooting. How important is that, you know, confidence-wise to, to go 11-12 to 12 and finish it down the stretch? And then the second one, just the, the matchup uh, Miles Johnson had to have tonight with, with Purdue's bigs. How hard is that when, you know, yeah. one, they have a, a really good big man in general, and then they, they have a, a few reserves and cliffs out? Yeah, I mean, you know, Miles, you know, stayed out of foul trouble. That was huge tonight, too. But, um you know, Miles is so important to us for a lot of different reasons, especially when you play a team like this. You know, Travion Williams is a really good passer. So if you double down, you got to kind of pick your poison with him a little bit. And Edney's seven foot five. I mean, he's huge. Um, you know, Miles has to wrestle with them. I thought Duke came in too and gave us some good minutes, uh, you know, going against two of the better post guys in, in the league. But Miles really important. He alters shots. He's, he's a really good defender. Um, you know, he could score. You know, down low, they're a tough team really to attack down low because they're so big and they double down a lot. But, uh, you know, Miles are really, you know, really important part of this. Got to keep him on the floor and then we got to get Cliff back. We got to get him healthy again and uh, um, so we can change our lineups and do some different things. And then with the free throw shooting, how important is that just um, confidence wise to get, you know, back yeah, on track with that? You know, I mean, we made free throws tonight. Um, we, we make free throws. I, I know he has been saying this. I feel very confident in our guys. Um, they're good foul shooters. They spend a lot of time working on it. Um, you know, we've made them a lot of them down the stretch in close games. Um, so I'm very confident in, in these guys and they continue to work on it. Um, I think, you know, Geo having Geo back is, is, is really good. I mean, keep in mind, you know, Ron is a real good foul shooter too. And Caleb McConnell may be our best foul shooter as a program. So we're down a couple of guys that could really shoot free throws too. But I thought they got it there on the end there, one and ones. We stepped up, made them. We made big plays, miles um, too from the foul line, you know, um, making the first. And those are good signs for us, you know, moving forward, especially in this league where games are all going to be close. Coach, I have two questions as well. I just was curious about the uh, Purdue went on that early run in the second half. It's like a 12-2, 14-2 run. I was curious what your message was to the team during that timeout and also if it was too early to tell and if Ron might be available for Iowa. Yeah, I'm not sure about Ron. Um, but, uh, you know, I expect teams in this league, you know, it's a league of runs. Purdue's really good. They can really shoot the ball. Um, I never get too worked up over that. We go on runs ourselves, and we can really score this year, so it's a little bit different than in the past. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, that, that's a program that wins. They just win. So, you know, no lead is safe. They're going to make a comeback. Those kids are really good players, and Matt Painter's, you know, an excellent coach. So, you know, we got our guys back and refocused. You know, I thought we played good Rutgers basketball. I thought we were gritty when we needed to be. I thought we grabbed rebounds, even though we're down a couple guys you know, in the rebounding department and, uh, you know, ended up having, you know, a real good, a real good night and a real good win. We can enjoy it for five minutes and then we're on to uh, another huge uh, test with Iowa. We'll go next, Aaron Brightman and then Jaden. Coach, uh, you played pretty much exclusively your starting five the last 15 minutes of the game. Just wondering if that was kind of your plan at the half and if there was any message to those guys about needing to, to really carry the load down the stretch uh, with not coming out? You know, they don't want to come out, so that's an easy one because, you know, I ask them at times, you need a quick blow, and all of them are ready to go, so they want to stay in the game. We used our timeouts down the stretch, a couple media timeouts, get, get them a quick minute. Uh, but when we're down players, you know, um, you have to do what you can do on that, that day. And I like those lineups. I thought defensively those were good lineups. But you know, I trust our bench. Our bench was really good. They really helped us. They gave us some minutes, um, you know, really good quality minutes. So it was a good sign for our bench and gives me a lot of confidence to keep, you know, keep rotating those guys in. Has was in the gym in the offseason, worked on his three point shot and really improving there. It seems like his confidence has gone up as well. What can you say about how much you've seen that jump from him sophomore to junior year, being more of a confident guy on court? Yeah, I mean, Montez really has been as consistent a guy on our team. He comes to practice every day. You know, he's had, you know, really good, consistent practices too. You know, last year he was up and down in practice a little bit and. He's been very consistent, and he's in great shape physically. Um, he's been through this league. 
Uh, and he really improved his jump shot. He put the time in. He's in the gym. You know, he really had a great off season, and um, he found the gym when he was home, and he's found this gym here. He loves it, and we're thankful to have a gym that's available 24 hours, and he certainly takes advantage of that. So I think you could see the improvements in their games, and that's because of the work that they've done, you know, to get, to get better. And we need nights like this from Montez. He can score it. He can get to the rim. He can get fouled. He can post it. He can do a lot of things, and I think you saw a little bit of everything tonight. Time for two more questions for Coach. We're going to take them from Jerry Carino and then Bobby to finish out. Steve, you you threw um, uh, Oscar and Dean into the fire tonight. Did you did you say anything to those guys either before or afterwards about their performance? No, I was proud of all. I thought our bench was great, so you know I told them that. But you know. I told them they're going to play and, and, and they should expect to play, you know, and the next guy ready to go. The obstacles that you go through during the course of a season in this league is, is unbelievable. So you're going to have sprained ankles, you're going to have headaches, you're going to have, uh, you know, sicknesses, you're going to have all kinds of things. So we just happen to have a lot going on at once. Um, so everyone's got to be ready. In the last game, Duke played 20 minutes. He didn't play the game before that. This game. You know, Dean played 18 minutes. I trust my bench. Those guys have been working hard. They're ready. They just haven't gotten the minutes because, you know, our veterans are pretty good. And uh, when our veterans are on the court, you know, it's hard sometimes to, you know, take them off the court. But it's not because I don't love this class. I think that, that this freshman class is really good. And, you know, Cliff and, and, and Mawat too. Mawat had two practices since his injury. So he's still got to get back to, you know, his shape and conditioning. He's really good too. So we trust these guys a lot, and and they were called on today, and they stepped up, and they they gave us great minutes, and and that's what I expect of them. Thanks. Thank you. Steve, you guys are seven and one now, and I don't think you've had a game where you've had everybody at full health. What what, what does that kind of say to you about this team? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I've always liked our depth. You know, um, anyways, you know, I trust the guys that you know I brought in and recruited. I think we had a good game plan too. Carl Hobbs did a good job, you know, um, preparing us for this game. As all of our assistants do a really good job. So, um, you know, I just like the fact that we're figuring out ways to win. I like the fact that when we need big stops, we're getting them. And I like the fact that every night somebody different, you know, can step up and, and do great things. And and that's really what what we need. Uh, we need everybody in this league. You see how deep all these teams are. You see how well coached they are. You know, we just need everybody. And one night it may be we need a three-point shooter, and Oscar gets a little bit more tonight. We needed some size and some rebounding. Dean got, you know, Mawat's a really good defender. He may, you know, but we also need to, you know, get everybody back. We need to get Ron back, and we need to get Cliff back. And, um, you know, it's better when you have the whole package. But, uh, you know, the guys fought through it tonight. A lot of adversity. And we even had a fire alarm go off during the middle of our shoot-around today for... 25 straight minutes. So we got through that obstacle too. Thanks, Coach. We'll, we'll end it there. We'll let Coach uh, get out of here. Thanks for your time, Coach. All right, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good night.